got. What's up guys, Dan Wowak here next to the pond here at the Appalachian Bushman School. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a really easy fishing rig um, that you can set up with a trap trigger, the same trap trigger called an L7 that we used in another video on land, but how we apply it to the water and the trick to it, because there's a little trick. If you set it up wrong, uh, it doesn't work out too good and people scratch it right away. So I'm gonna show you the hot trick for it and how to actually set it up. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Now, as I said before, and I will say it again, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes. And with so many classes available, you can explore new skills, you can develop existing interests that you already have, or just get lost in all the creativity on there. Now, another thing that's really cool that I never mentioned before about Skillshare is number one, that they're putting a ton of new premium classes on there all the time. So there's always something new for you to watch. There's also never any ads. So you can really stay focused on what you're trying to learn. No disruptions, not getting sidetracked, not going down an old rabbit hole, focused on what's happening. And I know myself that when I'm doing something, I like to be 100% into it. And um, recently I was on Skillshare and I found somebody on there who I didn't know was on there that I followed on YouTube for a long time. And that is MKBHD. He is extreme when it comes to the camera work and the technology that he uses. And I was super excited because I found a video on Skillshare that he goes over his whole YouTube video making process. So everything from camera work to how he comes up with different ideas and how to integrate not only all the technology and the background stuff of camera and audio and things like that, but how to also work in your creativity to that. Now, if you're interested in that video, that is called YouTube Success by MKBHD. Um, definitely look it up, I know you will love it. Now for all my subscribers out there, if you click the link below, Skillshare is offering a one month free trial subscription for the first thousand people who click the link. So click it, check it out, you're gonna love it. And thanks Skillshare for sponsoring the video, but now we gotta get back to fishing. All right, so we moved in um, the woods just very slightly. The water's edge is just to my left a little bit. Better lighting and because I wanted to show you that thing, okay? Um, so for this, um, before we get into the actual trigger system, um, you're going to need what we refer to as a spring pole. And a spring pole is nothing more than a straight stick that is either, in this case, still rooted into the ground. So this is a green tree that, um, or a sapling that is still in the ground, so the roots are keeping it in, or you can get a straight stick and you can drive it down into the ground. Either are gonna work fine. Um, what you are gonna notice is this stick is not overly huge, okay? Um, if I go like this, it springs back, it's nothing crazy. All that we need to do is set the line with this. So this is the same as if you were fishing with your pole and the fish is on and you set the line. We're not fishing for sharks, we're just catching small fish, maybe a trout. So something like this is gonna be more than enough to bounce back and set the hook, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do now, at the end of this stick, I'm gonna take, um, in my case, I just have some um, bank line, and I'm gonna just use a clove hitch. Tie a clove hitch on the end right here, okay? Um, nothing, tie whatever kind of knot you want. I think a clove hitch is really easy over the top. It binds down really well. And now we have this line that if I pull it down, and let it go, it springs back up. Um, so that's the first step. All right, so the next thing um, that we're going to need, or two pieces that we're gonna need, is a tent peg. So I carved the tent peg. It needs to be this style tent peg with the seven notch and the point, okay? That's gonna get driven down into the ground. Um, what you're also going to need is, think of a tent peg and a toggle when you do this. A toggle, but you're gonna cut another seven notch in there, okay? So this is where the L and the seven come into play, okay? So if you were making your L and making your seven, we have an L here and a seven here. They meet up like this and lock in place. So this is what this is going to look like. Of course, this is gonna be down in the ground. Now, your rope from your stick is going to attach 
to the top portion or the toggle portion of this trap trigger. Again, you can use any knot that you would like. I think that a clove hitch works best. What I've also done on this was on this side and this side, I cut a small V notch. That's gonna help, help hold this line in place. But before you tie your top toggle on, you're going to need to estimate how much tension or whip you need off of this line, okay? So, I mean, you can tie this way up here like this and get tons of tension if the thing really, really whips. But this is where I said earlier in your video, I'm gonna tell you the trick. The trick is not to add a ton of tension. We're not trying to fire a squirrel or a rabbit up off the ground to strangle it as we would with a noose or a snare, okay? All that we're trying to do is hook the fish. So with this type of trap, the fish is gonna take the bait and start to swim. It should at that point have the bait in its mouth deep enough or already begin to swallow it that we just need a light hook set, okay? So keep that in mind. If it goes too much, Number one, I notice it pulls the hook right out of the mouth and never hooks the fish correctly. And secondly, um, we don't wanna hook the fish and have it go flying back somewhere into the woods. And if we're not around and we're just passively checking these traps as we come through, um, another animal gets the fish, okay? So um, something light, um, probably in my case, looking at this about here is gonna be, I'll let it go, more than enough, okay? So I can, preset that here accordingly. Um, again, I'm gonna just use a clove hitch. Now, unlike with other traps, we would generally utilize the second part of this line for our snare, um, but in our case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim that away. So what I'm gonna do is, right where I tied on my other line, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use my fishing line. Um, our pretend fishing line so you can see it. So I'm gonna still, um, again, you tie this on however you wish, okay? Um, and this would be the end of your fishing line tied on just like that, okay? Fishing line runs out. You can have bobbers, sinkers, hooks, all the good stuff that's gonna go out into the water. Okay, so now what I would do at this point is I would take my line and depending on how I'm gonna cast this out, if it's with a stick reel or if it's just by hand, I would get everything prepped, send it out into the water, and then once that hits the water, now I can set my trigger. So the trigger is really easy to set. We have our fishing line that is going out this way, okay, to the lake, pond, whatever. We have the line on top of our toggle that is going up to our stick. And then we're just going to latch these together, okay? So we're gonna use the L and the seven and latch them together. Now, sometimes you gotta play around with this to get it in place. But that's it. At this point, something pulls on the hook, it's gonna pull, and you can see it snapped free and went flying up. And that's the basic concept of it. So you have your trigger here pulling off um, of your stake. Now, a couple things you're gonna notice. Um, we, when we filmed this, okay, we had the trigger set up this way, so the smooth, so the back side of the peg was facing away from the water technically, that when it would pull, there was a little bit more tension and it had to flip out that way. Um, you can play with this. You can put it at an angle, you could put it forward so it's a really, really fast trigger. Sideways is gonna be a little bit slower trigger if the fish pulls this way, a little bit heavier. You can play around with that. There, I don't feel as if um, there are really too many specific rules. As long as you understand this concept, it's gonna come down to a situationally dependent um, decision, okay? So it's gonna depend on what your situation is how you're gonna set that thing up. All right, so another tool for the toolbox. That's it, the L7 trap trigger for fishing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Until next video, stay in the woods.